This first set of videos is going to cover solving problems involving unit conversions and unit analysis. The goals for this chapter are to explain the need for standardization of measurement, use the metric system of measurement, convert measurements from one system to another, solve problems involving length, area, and volume, distinguish between mass and weight, use significant digits to determine the accuracy of measurements, differentiate between accuracy and precision, and finally, solve problems with measurements and consistently express results with correct significant digits. First of all, we're going to talk about standards of measure, which are sets of units of measurement for length, weight, and other physical quantities. These standards don't change from person to person, so they're useful for a large number of people. The first system we're going to talk about is the SI system, which is the International System of Units of Measurement, and in the SI system, there are seven basic units. The basic unit for length is the meter. The basic unit of mass is the kilogram. The basic unit of time is the second. The basic unit of electric current is the ampere or the amp. The basic unit of temperature is the Kelvin. The basic unit of light intensity is the candela. And the basic unit of molecular substance is the mole. In this particular class, we're mostly going to be focusing on length, mass, time, and temperature. Before we can talk about any kind of unit conversion, we're going to go ahead and talk about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a useful way to express very small or very large numbers. The general form for scientific notation looks like this, m times 10 to the n power. In this case, m is going to be a number between 1 and 10, and n is going to be the exponent or the power of 10. So as an example, if we have a positive power, it means that our number is larger than 1. So 2.7 times 10 to the fifth power is going to be a number that's larger than 1. So if we have a positive exponent, a positive power, what we're going to do is we are going to move the decimal point that many places to the right if it's positive. So when we move our decimal point five places to the right, we end up with 270,000. If we have a negative power or a negative exponent, that means that we have a number smaller than one. So in this case, we have an exponent of negative three, so that means we have to move our decimal point three places to the left in order to give us some number that is smaller than one. So 4.8 times 10 to the minus third is equal to 0 0.0048. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of scientific notation. Let's convert the following measurements to scientific notation. So our first number is 0 0.0000495 kilometers. It doesn't really make sense to include all of these zeros out front, so this is a great example of where we would need to use scientific notation. So our general format, remember, is m times 10 to the n power, so we need a single digit before our first decimal point, so that will be the 4. So we will put the decimal point between the 4 and the 9, giving us 4.95 times 10 to the minus 6 kilometers. And again, our exponent is going to be a minus 6 because in order to move the decimal point from our standard form to scientific notation, we have to move the decimal point 6 places off to the left. And also, our original number is something that is less than 1, so that means we have to have a negative exponent. So this becomes 4.95 times 10 to the minus 6 kilometers. As another example, 1,875 feet, if we want to write this in scientific notation, again, the general form is m times 10 to the n power, so we need a single digit out in front of our decimal point. So we're going to place the decimal point between the 1 and the 8, and then we have to count how many places we moved that decimal point in order to get our scientific notation, so 1.875 times 10 to the third feet. And in this case, our exponent is going to be positive because our original number is something that is greater than 1. So we had to move the decimal point three places to go from standard notation to scientific notation. 
So now we're going to convert the other way. We're going to convert the following measurement to decimal notation. So we're going to start with scientific notation and go the other way. So if I have a number of 2.922 times 10 to the 4 kilogram, this is again scientific notation, and if I want standard notation, all I have to do is move the decimal point four places, the exponent that number of places, off to the right in this case, because our exponent is positive. So this becomes 29,220 kilograms. This concludes our first lecture on the SI system of measurement and scientific notation.